Welcome to the next episode, everybody. Take a look here. Does this look familiar? It's been about two years since we shot a video on this boat and I get a lot of comments about, hey, how's everything going with the boat? Is it still running? Everything's still good? And of course, when the boat was initially rebuilt, including the flooring, stringers, things of that nature, we had a few people say that the Kevlar and some of the marine grade plywood wouldn't stand the test of time. So we're gonna do a full review here two years later and kind of look at it. We can see a lot of the stringers underneath. Once we go through the ski locker, we'll look at that and then kind of go over everything and show you how everything's kind of holding up because two years is a pretty good time. We take this boat out probably, I don't know, maybe during the summer months, probably every weekend on average. So. It's had a lot of use, a lot more hours put on it. And I can tell you that the motor has held up very nicely. So we're just gonna go around and talk about everything that I've added since the last video. And then we'll kind of look and see how things are holding up. This way, as you are considering doing a rebuild on your boat, you have an idea of what works and what doesn't. I mean, two years is a good time. So let's take a look. Let's go with the paint, right? Paint is obvious, we can see that. We've had a few scuffs here as we pulled up to various marinas and this oil-based paint has been pretty good. One of the things that I've noticed too with this uh, red stripe that I added is that's holding up real good as well. It doesn't quite have the same shininess as, as it used to, but I'm sure with some wax and some buffing that will come right out. And then obviously this top side paint will would just need to be kind of recoated. And you'll see this throughout the boat. We've got, you know, some nicks here and there. And moving around the boat, nothing crazy to report here, right? So everything is pretty good, pretty standard with the paint. Nothing nothing out of the, uh, the usual here, all right? So, you know, as we look at things like, I remember towards the end we installed the wakeboard tower. And I haven't tightened it. It's still got a pretty good hold there. No issues. That's pretty much the status of the paint. Pretty good. I'm, I'm very happy with, with this style of paint. You know, obviously there's there's still a little bit of scrubbing I can I could do on this to keep it very, very clean, but it's been uh, very good to me so far and continues. All right, let's go take a look at the motor. Now, I've had zero issues with this mo motor. It has started every single time without issue. And you've probably seen my other videos, right? And two years later, I haven't done anything with the spark plugs. Those are still the original spark plugs. And the wires are original as well. I do periodically add some power steering fluid as needed. And the only other thing to report about the belts is I have ripped one of the belts off, and I believe it was the alternator belt, which is this guy right here. That one flew off, and when I found it, it looked like it had ripped, so it was a, a defect and something with the belt. I replaced it, and then this one's been running great, but otherwise with the motor, no issues. All the electronics and hydraulics have been good. I haven't had to refill the uh, trim tilt fluid at all. Let's um, move around and look at the bilge area. You can see we've accumulated a little bit of oil down there. And like I said, it's probably my fault for the most part. When I go to pour this, sometimes some of it uh, drips out. But I haven't smelled any fuel or anything. So all the um, fuel lines that we did, they seem to be tight. And there is access under the seat if needed to review that. Let's look at the motor mounts here. Now, obviously there's been a lot of use with this motor since we rebuilt it and i haven't seen any kind of rips or anything or shearing marks um, with the kevlar as it bonds right nothing there and th that motor mount was made out of marine grade plywood there's no squeezes or anything like that to show that it's compacted more looking over here at the kevlar in general which is what the entire boat as a whole has been rebuilt looks good it's one thing I have noticed with the Kevlar is as it's been exposed to sunlight, 
it does show that uh, it doesn't have that initial uh, really cool looking yellow anymore and it's kind of faded down a little bit to a darker yellow. The battery is still original and you've noticed I've added this little external uh, device here and what that's done is allowed me to add basically like a cigarette lighter. I've used this obviously as a wakeboarding boat and I've got a water sack that I add in the boat itself to kind of add some more weight because this boat is super duper light now and as a result it doesn't wakeboard as good when you add some more water to it so here you go here's another shot of the uh, motor mount down here and stainless steel is still good remember how i harp on that a lot of stainless and no issues with the motor mount and like i said everything down here has been fantastic one of the things that i've kind of noticed is when we originally rebuilt these the heat riser here uses a standard and this is a standard part you know that comes from the factory and I have noticed that it does like to rust a little bit and I was thinking maybe it was an issue with the torque on these bolts here and it doesn't seem to be the case they are torqued down so this leak seems to be happening because of the material that they use probably you know should have used something more copper based to keep this thing from rusting but it seems to be pretty good with some maybe light leaks i don't see anything while running the boat it just seems to be something um, minimal but this is two years of, of wear on it i would imagine probably about another year or two we will probably need to pull these off you know these bolts on top here and replace these uh, gaskets here but otherwise it's been running pretty great no issues there let's go down let me show you something else that i found as you see where our tube connects and then there's this little guy down here which allows for you know a change of angles i have noticed we have the plastic cracking a little bit and that's that's a replacement um piece of rubber down there and it, and it looks like maybe with the last freeze that we had that that may have uh, essentially killed that plastic on it i've noticed some other plastic around the uh, property that had similar issues. So that may not be a workmanship issue or quality issue. I think it's something with the ultra cold temperatures we had. This one over here, I believe is factory original. And you can see that that one hasn't had any issues. So it, it could be something with uh, either or the cold or um, the quality of that replacement. So I'm gonna go pick up another one of those uh, before the end of the season here. And you can see, like I said, with this heat riser here, um, this is somewhat similar behavior. We get a little bit of rust. I, if you know me, when we rebuilt this thing, I like to use nothing but stainless. And it looks like I'll, I'll probably do some research and see if we can find one that is uh, copper based, but I don't think we're going to have much luck there. But otherwise, like I said, the uh, motor starts every time, no issues uh, whatsoever. So let's go ahead and close this down. You can see I still have my original hydraulics there been working great let's go ahead and close it and then we use the uh, magnets I actually ripped that off um, when I was pulling it up one day you can see magnets are still holding so that magnet idea was fantastic the uh, vinyl that we used came out um, came out pretty good still working no issues with the custom-made bench the um, aftermarket seats that we installed pretty standard pedestals are still good holding down one of the big things you always wonder with your with your rebuild when you do the floors and whatnot are do these things lo loosen up over time when water gets in there and starts to kind of back up everything but if you remember when we put these down we not only encased we, we built in a pedestal here that doesn't necessarily go into the main floor but we also uh encased this with some um adhesive so that to kind of seal those bolts out and like you, like you see here, we've got no issues with the, um, the bolts or the washers or anything like that. Everything looks good, no issues. Pedestals look like they're in really good shape. So I'm pretty happy about that. You, you notice a little bit with the um, carpet, we've got a little bit of uh, fraying happen, but I tell you the other day, we went in here and kind of uh, cleaned it up with a water hose. I, I kind of went pretty crazy, not with a power washer per se, but we went in and really um, clean this thing up pretty good since we're about to winterize it. The uh, carpet in general has kind of faded a little bit. It used to be, if you remember, that really nice 
bright red, but I have noticed with the sun that it is kind of faded a little bit over time. So that's kind of be that's kind of uh, to be, um, I guess, something to expect, right? Um, how did the adhesive hold with the carpet? It's good. It's not peeling up really that I've noticed anywhere. And I'd say I like it. I think the, the carpet was pretty good. The paint on the inside you can see is still uh, holding up. And then, you know, here's more of that um, seat covers here that remember when we custom made this guy, still holding up, no issues. And then my favorite thing is the floor. The floor is as solid as the day we put it together there. Let's open up the ski locker and let's go take a look and see how everything's looking underneath. You see a little bit of water. Um, I had washed the boat yesterday, so there's still a little bit of water hanging out in there. In fact, you can see all my bubbles, but you can see the marine grade uh, plywood still in there and the Kevlar as well. It's looking pretty good. And I get a lot of questions of when you put the marine grade plywood, did you seal it? And if you remember, we have uh, coated all the marine grade plywood underneath here with uh, basically epoxy. So yeah, no issues there. And as far as the bottom of the boat in general, still in one piece, no issues there. And then our little guy over there, that was, that was the only hydraulic that I found that wasn't made out of stainless, but it looks like the paint uh, coated type of steel seems to be holding up pretty good. So we'll keep an eye out on that one, but yeah, it's not a stainless one like we have on the other side. All right, let's go ahead and rotate that. But yeah, otherwise, um, gauges are good. Radio still starts and everything of that nature. Been pretty happy with the boat in general. And that's pretty much it in general. Stereo is still, still kicking real good. Um, no problems there. But yeah, that is a update for you all regarding the, um, the boat here. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions and people have asked me, said, hey, how's it, how's it running? So I hope you liked the video. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel. I'm gonna do a video here in a little bit about how to winterize this because we're gonna put this one up for the season. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments field below. We'll catch you on the next video. Have a good one, everybody. Take it easy.